Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I'm here to show you how to monitor uh, the memory and CPU utilization of a particular application. Also how we can pop up alert messages when we have total system uh, memory or uh, CPU, mem CPU utilization is more than some defined uh, limit. So let us see how we can start that. For that we need to import a couple of models, say import PS util. Then we have date time, time, schedule, and then we have open by Excel. So, a date time, time, schedule. These are Python. These are available in the Python standard library. So you need not need to worry about it. Where else? PSTL, uh, PSUTL, and the open by Excel. You need to download it uh, from the command prompt using pip3 command so let us see how we can carry for move forward so let us see like what is the process id that i'm going to monitor so pid is equal to int input enter process id okay this is my process id which will be into input form now next let, let me create some warning messages for the for the cpu and the memory utilization above some defined path defined limit so cpu uses yes util dot cpu underscore percent interval equal to one if CPU uses is greater than 50% is done print CPU uses is above 50 percentage this CPU uses similarly we'll go for memory also so mem uses equal to PS util dot virtual memory chill memory dot percent dot percent similarly we have if command if mem uses is greater sorry is greater than 50 percent then so I will have the same statement here print memory utilization is above 50 percent that is mem uses okay next this is done next we'll go for the monitoring part the pid what we have entered how we can monitor that Def. monitor for this what we need to do is like we need to get the process id that is p equal to ps util dot process what is the process that is the pid that we are going to enter manually now cpu cpu equal to p dot cpu percent interval equal to one divided by ps util dot cpu measure count underscore count what it will do is like it will get the cpu percentage of the particular process id since uh, we have uh, we have multiple cores say uh, four cores eight cores so based on that it will uh, make it out so if it is four cores then the total process divided by this it will get you the exact process ids exact cpu percentage then we will go for the memory part memory in mb equal to p dot memory dot info memory underscore pool underscore info dot rss slash p dot memory underscore pool underscore info rss dot 
will convert it to MB. 1024 bytes into 1024 bytes, it will convert this value into MB size. Okay, next we will go for the memory percentage. Simply we will go with memory equal to P dot memory underscore percentage. Okay. Equal to now. Now, what I need to do is like I need to copy this information to Excel sheet for further analysis. Let us see how we can do that. Set path equal to R. I have an Excel sheet. We have seen like we have time process ID, process CPU utilization process memory utilization in MB size and process memory utilization percentile so the file should write here monitor monitor underscore result dot excel sx ok now file equal to open by excel dot load underscore workbook what is the path Sheet equal to file dot active. Now, what we need to do is like we need to write the data into each sheet, into each cell based on the column names. How we are going to do is like sheet dot cell column equal to column equal to one comma row equal to sheet dot max underscore row plus one since we have already in the row one we already have the header column so for uh, adding the data from the next row we'll be putting plus row plus one so what's the value first the value will be time okay i have not entered the time data so let me enter the time also time equal to Date time dot date time dot now dot strf time what is the formula formula will be your percentage y percentile m percentile d slash percentile h hour percentile minute percentile sorry percentile second okay this this is the format where it should get uh, logged into so first thing is that I should value is equal to time my time should log based on the based on this excel sheet now what will be the next column? So I will just copy paste couple of uh, lines here. Okay, next column two. Column two is going to be PID, my PID name, PID. Column three will be my CPU utilization. So CPU utilization, nothing but CPU. Column four will be my memory utilization memory mb so memory underscore mb then we have fifth column that is the memory of percentage it's directly memory now we need to save this file file dot save jth now we need to schedule these jobs till dot every so I need the warnings in every one second second dot two then we have schedule dot every five dot seconds do 
monitor so i want to monitor every five seconds and the warning message should be checked every uh, one second i'll do schedule dot run underscore pending time dot slip okay so let us uh, run the code and see whether it runs perfect or not So I'll be monitoring this uh, PID 5044, 5044. So it shows the memory utilization is about 77 percentage. There is some error. Uh, okay, this should be caps process ID. Okay. So make sure only the first row will have row plus one whereas the other other will have only uh, max row counts so we, otherwise it will have some error so make sure like this is what you can do let me run it Let me have some data generated and then I will show you. Oh, the it's just 341 memory, 341 MB is almost the 341 MB will be your private memory that was the working set memory. And the CPU utilization is almost 21 percentage. Okay, I have some data captured. So memory is never memory is not CPU is not above 50, so it is. Some of the CPU is going 50. I think if this CPU data over here is not matching with the CPS 12, yeah, it will be because this CPU information sometimes task manager is not showing correctly because it is a multi core and it takes some time to update it here. But whereas the PS 12 will be get you the correct information. So now let us have some uh, data validation from the Excel sheet. Yep. For this particular memory, you can select it was taking 22 memory, 24 memory, it was just rotating in that, so it was it is getting the data of that particular value. Now, next is like memory process utilization memory, so it will be 346, 360. Uh, this data always uh, the PSTL will show some some 20 to 30 MB more than what uh, is showing task manager, so that you need to calculate accordingly. And then, the and then you can see the process memory. So, what's the what's the memory this particular application is using? This memory utilization. So this is how we can monitor an application with respect to its CPU utilization as well as memory utilization. Hope you have understood this video. If you have liked this video, please press like button and for more videos, please do subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.